really, in the long run as well. So when you see these, when you see these human problems that, that seek out a behavior change, recognize that behavior change can be really, really hard. Um, when it comes to predicting what will work, um, I think it's important to be incredibly suspicious of people who tell you they can tell the future. Because the one thing we know is that um, the future is fairly unknowable, and that the best teacher of the future is what's happened in the recent past. Unfortunately, um, you think about the context in which punditocracy happens. So let's say we're talking about the financial markets, or let's say we're talking about politics. So whether, whether, whether you watch CNN, NBC, CNBC, Fox News, whatever, let's say that's in the political realm, right? And let's say that um, your job for the day is you're a producer for one of the talk shows there, and you've got an issue that's come up, some geopolitical issue, something in the White House, whatever, and you need a guest for 10 minutes, okay? And you have, um, let's say you, you get out, you're, you, know, you, look, you quickly look up, you're also in a little bit of a hurry, so you, you know some professor of political science and let's say the professor is me, and you call me, and you say, you know, what would you have to say on, you know, Russia threatening to annex the Ukraine, whatever? And I would say something like, well, you know, it's a complicated situation. Time has shown that Russia has X and Y tendencies. The situation is um, fairly fluid. Our information is not very good. So it's very hard to say what's actually going to happen. Although if I had to bet based on the past, I would say that if there is an annexation, it will be kind of slow and gradual on these forms, and these will be the institutions that will damage it all. And you're sleeping. By the time I get 20 seconds into my explanation, you say, I am never putting that person on my TV show, right? And then you call up another person. And this person is not an academic. Maybe they're associated with a think tank, whatever. And they say, this is the beginning of World War III. It's probably starting in a month. Here's what's going to happen. Russia's going in. Then we're going in. Syria becomes proxy war. Boom, boom, boom. Who are you going to put on your TV show, right? You put the loudmouth on. The loudmouth gets on and scares everybody. Then, a month later, when the loudmouth turns out to be wrong, what happens to the loudmouth? Nothing. The incentives are so perverse in this arena that we literally reward people with the boldest, least provable conclusions or assertions and pretty much ignore the people with the most sensible long-term analysis and so on. So when you, when you look at the problems that we're facing and you're trying to solve them, business, political, family, and so on, um, just try to weigh the costs and benefits. Try to understand that the people that you're hearing from who tend to be the noisiest may be really good at making noise, they may have really great presentation skills, but the quality of their ideas may not really be all that valuable. And most of all, try to find the data that tells you what's really going on. So I'll